Okay folks, this is it. Simple navigation, chart plotting. Do what a chart plotter does. This is all you need. A Portland course plotter, piece of plastic 46 centimeters by three centimeters by three millimeters thick, a pencil, whiteboard marker, a notepad, handheld GPS, and a paper chart. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay folks, you've seen the equipment you need, now we show you how to use it. First thing you want to know is you have the chart of the area you're going to navigate. This is the chart of the Channel Islands and Brittany Coast, just being used for an example. When you buy your charts, the first and foremost thing that's important is that you get the centre of the compass roses that are on your chart. Now these are all printed on here. And if you look, some of them give you the actual latitude and longitude of the centre of the compass rose. If it doesn't, you have to take the latitude and the longitude to determine the exact centre of that compass rose. Once you've got it, you mark that down on a piece of paper of whatever it is. This one is 49 degrees 05 minutes north, 2 degrees 33 minutes west. Write that down on a piece of paper. When you've written that down, write alongside, put the number here. If you're starting and this is your first chart, put one. If you have two roses on the chart, the next one will be two. The next chart, three. The next chart, four. And so on. So that each compass rose has its own individual number. Once you've determined the number of the chart, you then go to your handheld GPS. This is a Garmin 72H, cost £126. It runs on its own internal batteries and it will run on the ship's supply. So this is a very handy item and not expensive to run. The first thing you do is you switch your unit on and you set number 21 as rows 21. You then put in the longitude and latitude that is the centre of the compass rose into that waypoint. So, just writing on here, you will see in your chart plotter, uh, I don't know if you'll actually see that, so I'll show you. It'll be rose 21, and it will show you that the position is 49 degrees 05 north, and 2 degrees 33 minutes west. So you'll see that on your on your. GPS. Now, I use cork on my chart table for a simple reason, you can stick pins in it. Now the only thing that makes this quicker, but you don't need it, you can use your dividers for it, but I like to put a pin in the centre of the compass rose. Now, if you don't have cork under your chart table, and you don't want to put uh, cork, you can get these silicon mats from underneath your dinner plate. Just put one under the centre of the, the chart where the compass rose is. Stick the pin in, won't damage the tip. Right, so the first thing we do, we want to know where we are. You go to the GPS, and on the GPS it has a function, go to. So you press go to. You then go down to the waypoint list, and we want rows 21. So we click on rows 21. And it will tell us that we are so many miles and so many degrees away from that centre. So just for an example, we'll say that it's telling us we are five nautical miles at 150 degrees from that compass rose. So, uh, OK, let's say 15 miles gives you a bit more scope. On your piece of plastic, one end, you want to put a little arrow on the side reason for that being you always work on that side. Now you want 15 miles as the first thing you want so you start from latitude north or anywhere on the latitude scale of the chart and it's put in five mile increments on this one so I'll start at the bottom here where it says zero you go five ten fifteen. Get your China graph pencil and just mark it. You then take that mark on that side and put it on the pin. So the mark is right on the pin. 
and you turn until you read on the compass 150 degrees. When you've done that, mark the end where the arrow is. That mark there is your position because you are 15 nautical miles at 150 degrees from that compass rose. Now it doesn't get very sim much simpler than that, but I will run through it again, just in case some of you didn't quite get it. First, put the center of your compass rose as a waypoint into your GPS. You have a list of them for all your charts. They stay there. You're navigating the boat and you want to know where you are. You go to the GPS, you press the go to function. On the go to function, it'll ask you how you want to go to. You choose waypoint, then you choose the waypoint you want. Now this one is 21. So I tell it to go to 21, enter. It then tells me the distance and bearing I am from the center of that compass rose. So if it says I'm 15 miles, at 150 degrees true, put your piece of plastic up the latitude scale and from the point of the arrow upwards measure 15 miles, 5, 10, 15. And with a China graph pencil or you can use a whiteboard marker, you mark the 15 miles. Take your piece of plastic and with the mark place it on the centre of your concrete rose. Then you turn until you hit 150 degrees. At the end is your position. That's where you are. So now you know where you are and people say, well, how will I know where I want to go? So let's say you're going down to, ooh, where we got here? Cap Farrell in Brittany. So you want to know. So you put your plotter on here. Now you should all know how to use your plotter. The course, that is the direction you're going. So that, you're going south, so you put the arrow south. Put it alongside there, put it alongside Cap Farrell, and you turn until the arrows are in line with the, with the chart latitude and longitude lines. So you put that up. You then read off here, and it tells you you want to steer 175 degrees true. If you want to add the magnetic variation, if you're using a hand bearing compass, it tells you on your chart what the magnetic variation is. Just add it. I hope that's simple. I hope it helps you. The total equipment cost here, I bought a pack of these charts for the Channel Islands and, the, and part of the south coast of England for £50. The GPS was £126. The Portland Plotter was £8. The piece of plastic cost me two pounds. China graph pencils are a pound or whiteboard markers are just a couple of pounds. I sincerely hope this helps you and helps you to be safe in your navigation because to know where you are when you're at sea and you can't see land is the most important thing you will ever know on your boat. So learn this, practice it, practice it at home, practice it on the boat. Teach the children, teach your wife. My wife has taught a woman this in five minutes. She used to be scared of going out in the boat with her husband because if anything happened to him, she didn't know where she was. The last time we spoke to her, she does all the navigation and they go all over the place. So be safe, be happy with what you know, and I hope it helps. Thanks for watching. Right guys and girls, serious stuff. We want to help you, we need you to subscribe to everythingboating.co.uk. Let's make this the biggest one on YouTube.